All right, everybody. Welcome to the Best Family Homestead. We're over here at the homestead. I've got the president of Harris County, uh, Mr. Right. Robert Wright, here with That's me. Right. Running on my re-election campaign yep. right now. Uh, some Harris County royalty, I guess you could say. We got the motorcade right here. <laughs> president or dictator? <laughs> Either way. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we got a special event coming up tomorrow. And before we can proceed with our special event. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. <laughs> uh, <coughs> we've got to get some uh, maintenance work done here on, on the old 66. So today we are going to change the oil. We are going to check our differential fluids. Um, I've got to get the headlights put in. And we're some going. tail we're lights, <laughs> some tail lights, uh, some tail lights hooked up, and just make sure it's in good running order. You might need a new truck for that. <sighs> yeah. So the goal is uh, the goal for this truck, especially, is to finish. It, it kind of like a fat kid. Well, kind of like me running a marathon. I have no 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 hopes of winning uh the best you could do I, no not me me running a 3k <laughs> i don't know when you and i do stuff like this it gets pretty competitive i think a little bit competitive um and you're always like i'm gonna win this and this is the one that i have the upper hand i think hold on is this, is this wood no that's concrete hold on there, there we go i think you've already missed your knock on wood no nope. window i'm calling it Got it. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, let's get to work here. I think we'll start with the easy thing. We'll start with the oil. Right, sounds good. I consider myself a highly qualified shade tree mechanic. Where's the shade tree? And unfortunately, I'm missing the shade tree, and it's hot. You we're a. Uh, Wish there was a shade tree mechanic. Yeah, exactly. Well, we're just gonna putter along here and get it done. Is that a vacuum? Uh, uh bowl vent. So that shouldn't go anywhere. No, just into the bowl. Okay. Let's say that's that should be a bowl vent, and that should be the uh, that could be vacuum. No, no, that's a. Uh, just, I guess I got a throttle vent. That's probably supposed to go to an air cleaner. That's a that's a, a carburetor off a of 300. That's not the 240 carburetor. That's definitely a bowl vent. I think that one just needs to be that one should be plugged because that just just needs, right. needs to go to an air cleaner. Well, you know, nice thing is, don't need jacks. So you don't want a real tire or time lapse. This. Um, it's like everything under there. Yeah. Like, oh, this is some disgusting oil coming out. Where did you get that? All on the back of the truck. Where did you get the drain pump? It's over there. I saw the video. Wonder what size oil plug that is by three quarter. All right, let's see how bad this oil is. Let's see if I can get this with an adjustable. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to do this side. All right, let me get this thing adjusted down here. There you go. It's been so long since this. Oh, good. Horse fly, shoe fly don't bother me. I hate horse flies. I think horse flies hurt worse than dang bees do. Yeah. With deer flies, these little yellow ones, you got attacked by some. Yeah, yeah. Those are rough. Oh, 
get out the splash zone. There we go, our hoo, yeah. That's, that's some uh, that's some crude, ain't it? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's been changed in quite a long time. Refine that to uh <laughs> refine that back to the little rail. No, it hasn't. It's got that old motor oil smell. Yeah, no, it's real, it's, real it's, distinctive smell to it. Old. The only thing worse than that is gear oil, man. Gear oil is one of the things I hate more than anything. And when I was a kid, changing oil in cars that have been sitting around for a while, smelling that, or, or a teenager working on old cars, that, that's a distinctive smell right there. Of course, what am I saying? Up to last year, changing oil on <laughs> old cars. <laughs> Uh, where did I set my bag up? That's a good one right there. It's got a uh, rust prevention or differential rust prevention built right into it. What's that? I said this is this is a good one right here. It's got the uh, anti-differential rust system built into it. Where right, the, where the oil just spills yeah. over the pumpkin there. I wonder what the odds are that I'll be able to unscrew the oil filter by <laughs> hand. I'm about to find out. Uh, drained out, huh? Yes. Drained out, Big old drain plug. It came out fast. Maybe five minute oil change here. You ever, uh, I personally never done it because I'm paranoid. But I've watched, seen it, seen it happen where people don't tighten that drain plug all the way down. Put fresh oil in it, start it up, and why is it knocking? Yep. Yep. I've, I've always paranoid about that. Or the other one I've seen happen, it happened to my mom, and I've seen people, like personally watched people do it, tried to yell at them as they'll take the oil filter off, you know, put, put new oil and everything in it, and forget to put the oil filter back on. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's see about, I'll let you hold that, and this old truck is up there, so I need. Oh, hey. Hey. Step stool there. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, well, look at that. One thing about it, well, it's. You can get right to it. That's, that's surprising. Right. Now that's that sure looked thin, didn't it? Mm-hmm. You see that coming? Out? Jim, yeah, it's not hot. It smells a little bit like gas. Does it? I think that number two cylinder is dead. I don't really get a gas smell, more like just an old oil smell. See how thin it is? Yeah, I do. Huh. There's one way to find out, then stick it and see if it's flammable. There you go, whoosh, with gas. It'll just burn slow with oil. I'm supposed to use new oil to do this, but that's not dirty, so... Or it doesn't have stuff in it. And just if... I know there's probably not... If you ever change your oil, one thing to remember with your oil filter, don't ever like crank down on this thing with the oil filter yeah. wrench. Just all you do is you go to where where it touches and then you go quarter of a turn. Mm -hmm. That's it. And if you just, it tightens up as it goes. And if you crank down on that thing. And make sure your other seal came off with that oil filter. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like cram filters. No. Uh, well, I, like, I like Wix filters. <laughs> 
I know, personal preference. You know, they're probably all made by the same people. Probably. Don't use RAM filters. I got, I got. I got. Yeah. Been one of those weeks. Mm -hmm. Been one of those weeks for you too, right? It has indeed. And people backing into Robert's Jeep and tires. Yeah. <laughs> Three, four, I don't know what, five tire plugs. Oh, New set of tires. It's all the same tire plug. Same hole, but they just met. Well, it's two plugs, but they messed it up. And one of the things I've always been a, just a pet peeve of mine someone backed into his Jeep and then drove off. Yep. <laughs> while he was in the store. Fast. Too fast. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know if this one holds five or six. I think I got another quart of 2050 around here somewhere. Oh yeah. I think these Fords are five quarts, but I, I think so. Definitely need to check. Sometimes these uh, manufacturers couldn't make up their mind whether it was five or six quarts. We might be all the way down yet. Oh, that looks good. Five. Yep. Yep, good to go. All right. Moment of truth. Be, <laughs> that, that, will, that will be repaid many times over in epic fashion. You got me. I got you. All right, oh, hey, it's going away. <laughs> See, even the truck's mad and like I'm leaving. You're right. All right, you can, you can start it up again. I'll leave the, yeah. I'll leave the wrench alone. <laughs> Sounds better this time. Oh, no. My air filter should be here today. I think. Can you hear it sucking air. Creasing everything and getting the grill back in it. I'm about ready for a break.
right, everybody. So I did all that work. Rushing to get this thing ready to go. And I knew it was low on gas. We were trying to get out the rough edge. Or I was trying to make it to Roberts, to the farm. And didn't have enough gas to make it to the gas station. It's gonna be my first stop. I meant to put a little bit more in it. So, right now, I'm pushing this big heavy son of a bitch up here where I can at least get it out of the road. There we go. Scott's giving me a boost with his truck. Of course it would have stopped going uphill. All right, here we go. Okay. We made it off the road. Let's go get a gas can. That was fun. It won't take on a car, but it should turn a deer. I just didn't want to. That grill's really good. It needs a new radiator cradle, like a champ. You gotta have that. But that grill's good. And that would be fine. Nah, I can't wait. I can't even get that off. Yeah, I just move this one. Okay. So, what you doing today? Alrighty folks, so we are getting ready to head out. We've got Scott back there behind us and Robert is going to be coming in just a minute. 
Now we're gonna let Robert go out in front because he is geared the slowest. So uh, this old truck I've got is slow. This old truck I've got is really slow. Robert's ambulance is really, really slow. 